Now, your CBS 47 Pinpoint Weather Forecast. Good morning, everybody. We have an absolutely gorgeous shot of the moon this morning. You can just see how round and full it looks there. And it's absolutely beautiful if you're outside during this time of the morning because the whole ground is just illuminated by the light from this moon. It's been called the full moon. Or this full moon is called the snow moon by some of the Native American tribes because normally we have the heaviest snowfalls in February. It's also been called the full hunger moon or the little famine moon because, because of all that snow. It can be difficult to hunt this time of year and it's also been called the full bony moon by the Cherokee who had to gnaw and sip bone marrow soup for sustenance during this time so interesting little history on that full moon in February absolutely gorgeous again if you get to see that in the silvery glow outside at night clear skies for that and that's made for beautiful days as well temperatures yesterday warmed up nicely we hit upper 60s across the valley floor in the 70s will return for us today in fact we did see some 70s yesterday in the Los Banas area got up to 72 degrees there saw mid 60s and by cell and down in Porterville saw low 60s in the foothills and got back into the 50s for the mountains yesterday and today temperatures will continue to climb. We're going to see those 70s and could in fact see 80s over the next couple of days. So the warm up continues. We do have a slight chance of some showers by Sunday. We desperately need the rain. We're short about three inches, but it looks like the best chance for the valley will come on Tuesday night into Wednesday. About a 50 50 shot of some light rain. Then the best chance for Sunday is really going to be around Yosemite. Could get a little bit of snow around Yosemite and that's about it. So here's a look at our satellite, all those clouds getting pushed north of our area. Uh, this is all the rain that we need, but you can see it's all headed into the Pacific Northwest. Not going to reach us. Could see some thin clouds today, but still going to be a sunny day and temperatures will still continue to climb for the next couple of days. 45 degrees in Fresno right now as we take a look at our sky view camera. Beautiful look over the uh, area and the city there, but no fog to worry about. Usually February is when we see that fog. We've been uh, almost fog free since we've had such a dry February. Temperatures are going to be in the low 70s for your high today. Beautiful at 71 in Fresno. Again, that's in the shade. In the sunshine, it'll feel even warmer. 70 in Merced, Madera, 72 in Los Banas, 74 in Colinga, 71 in Corcoran. Foothills today are in the upper 60s, or uh, upper 60s rather, in Visalia and Portoville. Foothills are in the mid uh, 60s to low 70s. 64 in Mariposa, 66 in Albury, 69 in Three Rivers. And the mountains today mainly in the 50s, even some low 60s up around Yosemite Valley. Gorgeous time to head up there and check out the Yosemite Falls that is now Horsetail Fall with the sunlight sunset hitting it. We're in the low 50s around China Peak and Shaver Lake, 44 in Sequoia National Park if you're headed to the higher elevations. Air quality today is still in the good to moderate range, but wood burning is not allowed in Fresno County today. It is allowed for the rest of the valley. And your boss mold and pollen counts are both up a bit today. Back in the moderate range, four and seven counts for those juniper, cedar, birch, and oak are in the air. Overnight, no worries about frost. Upper 30s to low 40s for the valley and the foothills will be at 46 in Fresno, 30s and 20s for the mountains overnight. And our seven-day forecast shows temperatures jumping 10 degrees over the next two days, mid-70s tomorrow near 80 by Saturday, and then back around 70 for Sunday and Monday as that system rolls through. Mainly we'll just see some cooler weather for the valley, and we'll see a better chance of rain by Wednesday. For the mountains, you're in the mid-50s for now, low 60s, beautiful for Friday and Saturday. Slight chance of a shower mainly around the Yosemite area on Sunday, but back to the 40s and we'll see another chance of snow by Wednesday. Now let's check out our CBS 47 pinpoint traffic report presented by Bank of the West. Checking out the city of Fresno again. Our freeways are doing okay. 180 in Cornelia still trying to clear up that car fire. And as Mike Scott mentioned, that shooting near First in Belmont not affecting any of the major streets. But if you're in the area for the residential streets, you do want to watch out for that around Fourth and Thomas. A little bit further south, we are clear this morning for the South Valley again. No worries about fog since we've been so dry. We'll keep you updated as we go along. Zara, back to you. Thanks, Jenny. We're on your side with another giveaway. Just in time for spring, we want to send you to the Fresno Home and Garden Show. It's starts tomorrow, runs through Sunday out at the Fresno Fairgrounds. Tickets are $8 for adults, but we have a pair of tickets up for grabs right now. Be caller number 4 to 227-47-TV. Caller number 4 to 227-4788 will win a pair of tickets. And coming up a little later in the newscast, we'll have a master gardener from Visalia joining us with some gardening tips for you. 544, 43 degrees. He might not start, but he's still a great passer. Find out where 49er Alex Alex Smith will head next season. And here's who's coming up on your talk shows today. Luke Wilson visits the talk. Zach Braff's on Ellen. And Charlie Sheen stops by late night.
segment of CBS 47 is brought to you by Laird Manufacturing. Fresno State women's hoop team hosting Colorado State at the Save Mart Center. Rosie Moult trying for another three ball, but she's fouled that time, completes the four-point play. She had a team-high 14 points. Bulldogs win 49-42. They're second in the Mountain West Conference. By the way, the Fresno State men still in last place after a loss last night at Colorado State. Another huge upset in college hoops. And an unbelievable game for a Golden State Warrior. Here's Carlos Diaz. In the NBA, Stephen Curry dropped an NBA season high 54 points and drained 11 threes at Madison Square Garden. That was not enough. The New York Knicks outlast the Golden State Warriors 109-105. Carmelo Anthony led the Knicks with 35 points and Tyson Chandler finished with 16 points and a career best 28 rebounds. The Phoenix Suns snapped the San Antonio Spurs 18 game home winning streak with a 105-101 overtime win. Spurs were 0 for 10 in the overtime period from the field, scoring only one point. Jermaine O'Neal had 22 points and 13 rebounds. Tony Parker added 22 points in the losing effort. To college hoops and another major upset. Another top five team goes down to an unranked team. This time fourth ranked Michigan loses to Penn State 84-78. Jermaine Marshall scored 25 points giving the Nittany Lions their first Big Ten win in more than a year. The seventh ranked Miami Hurricanes bounced back from their first ACC loss, beating the Virginia Tech Hokies 76-58. Shane Larkin led the way with 22 points and six assists. The Hurricanes can clinch their first ACC championship by beating the Duke Blue Devils Saturday at Cameron. And the San Francisco 49ers have reportedly agreed to trade former number one pick Alex Smith to the Kansas City Chiefs for two draft picks. Smith lost his starting job this past season while he was sitting on the bench, sitting out with a concussion. The trade can't be completed officially until March 12th, the beginning of the 2013 league year. Headline Sports, I'm Carlos Diaz. It's so weird. Joe Montana went to the Chiefs from the Niners. Mm -hmm. Now Alex Smith. <laughs> Mm, we'll see what happens. I'm just happy we have preseason baseball back. You know, it feels like we're really getting into spring. Yeah. Now. And then March Madness coming up I in know. a few weeks. It's exciting time. <laughs> Ten minutes till six now. We're in the low 40s. Bobby Brown arrested. Find out why he is in trouble with the law again. The makers of Schindler's List celebrate the film's 20th anniversary as they try to reach out to a whole new generation of viewers. I'm Teresa Garcia in Pasadena, California, with this story and more in today's Eye on Entertainment. The story CBS 47 is brought to you in part by Ramos Furniture. Now, your CBS 47 Pinpoint Weather Forecast. Good morning, everybody. Our beautiful weather continues. Once again, we'll see plenty of sunshine today. All those clouds staying in north of our area. We wish they would roll through and bring us some rain, but we're not seeing that for now. And right now, we're at 39 degrees in Visalia, where it's a bit warmer than yesterday. Still pretty chilly outside, so you'll need a coat for the morning, but short sleeves for the afternoon. Visibility looks good. Wind staying light, and we're headed towards 71 for the afternoon. A gorgeous day, well above average. Northwest winds about uh, 10 miles an hour today. Sunset time is 5.53. Our overnight lows back around the upper 30s to low 40s for the valley. 46 in Fresno with mostly clear skies and light wind. And our sunrise time gets earlier and earlier. Longer days now. 6.29 is our sunrise time. Foothills today in the mid 60s. Sunny and warmer. 63 in Bass Lake. 68 in Toll House. You're in the mid 30s to low 40s overnight. And for the mountains 55 degrees in Shaver Lake. 54 in Hume Lake. 50 in Kings Canyon. Sunny and warmer for you with 30s and 20s overnight. Seven day forecast shows temperatures continuing to climb mid 70s tomorrow near 80 on Saturday back around 70 Sunday and Monday with a good chance of rain by Tuesday night into Wednesday temperatures back around the mid 60s then for the mountains you're around 55 today low 60s Friday and Saturday gorgeous weekend temperatures though back to the 40s by Sunday with a 40 percent chance of showers mainly around Yosemite and another chance of snow next week now let's check out our CBS 47 pinpoint traffic report presented by Bank of the West if you're traveling through the West Side J things.
conditions look good along the I-5, the 152 up north. That earlier Merced crash has been cleared up as well. Uh, a little bit further south here, we do have one thing to report. This one's going to be right around Sutter and Manning in it. San Joaquin. It looks like there's a car fire there. Crews are on scene with that one in the city of Fresno. We look good this morning. That earlier car fire at Manning and Cornelia, or at uh, Cornelia 180, rather. Looks like the tow truck's already been there, so that one should be cleared up. And again, as Mike Scott mentioned, first in Belmont, not actually blocked. It's going to be in the more residential areas there with that shooting this morning. Bobby Brown is heading to jail. The singer sentenced to 55 days after pleading no contest to charges of driving under the influence, driving with a suspended license, and violating his probation. This is Brown's second DUI conviction in just a year. A judge ordered the 44-year-old to also attend three Alcoholics Anonymous meetings a, a week until he reports to the L.A. County Jail on March 20th. One of the greatest historical movies of all time is about to turn 20. And Rolling Stones fans won't want to miss an upcoming exhibit. Here's your eye on entertainment. Never before seen Rolling Stones memorabilia will soon go on display at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in Cleveland. The exhibit, Rolling Stones, 50 Years of Satisfaction, includes personal items from the legendary band. It opens on Memorial Day weekend. Steven Spielberg's masterpiece, Schindler's List, is being released on Blu-ray to mark its 20th anniversary. The Holocaust drama won seven Academy Awards, including Best Picture and Best Director. I still feel that Schindler's List is the, the film that has made the most amount of material change in the world. Schindler's List inspired the director to create the USC Shoah Foundation. It has recorded nearly 52,000 Holocaust eyewitness stories in 56 countries and in 32 languages. The foundation is also marking the anniversary with a program called Eyewitness Video Challenge. It allows middle school and high school students to make video essays showing how Holocaust survivor stories inspired them to make a difference in the world. And Lindsay Lohan wants to turn over a new leaf. Her attorney says the 26-year-old actress is undergoing intense psychotherapy and wants to become an inspirational speaker to young people. Lohan has already spent time in jail and rehab and is facing reckless driving charges from a car crash last summer. Her attorney will meet with the judge on that case tomorrow. And that's your Eye on Entertainment. Teresa Garcia, CBS News, Pasadena, California. 556, 43 degrees still to come. Our friends from Fresno Petty ER will join us in our next half hour. They're talking about low cost options to spay and neuter your pets. The Dow had its best day of the year, plus, JC Penney's is still struggling. I'm Ashley Morrison in New York. I'll have that and much more coming up in your CBS Money Watch report. CBS 47.